One trick to finding perch fast is focusing on areas that offer an abundance of food. In many lakes, the best spots are transition lines where hard and soft bottoms meet. Let's join John as he explains how these underwater intersections serve as all-you-can-eat buffets, attracting schools of hungry perch that make for fast winter fishing. so neat when you got fish just coming up and down. Oh, there he is, he grabbed it. Just question of time before that guy hit it. I mean, I had him going up and down several times. Look at that. That's what we're after today, right there. Good old fashioned jumbo perch. And I'll tell you what, these fish, I think are some of the funnest ice fishing you can do. And, and I'll, I'll tell you why. A couple of reasons. One is they're an aggressive fish in the winter time. They're far more aggressive in the winter than they are in the summertime. And they're a lot easier to catch in the winter time too, because once you get on a pile of them, you can really sit and catch them and you can catch them in a hurry, but there's constant action because a lot of times what happens with perch is they're willing to sit in an area with a whole variety of year classes. So what's happening today is I'm catching little ones, I'm catching big ones, I'm catching medium sized ones like that one, you know, just great eaters. And I'll tell you what, they're all packed up in the same area because we're on one of the most perfect prototypical spots that you could ever think of for perch fishing. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Not every lake is the same, but I'll tell you what, most every lake that has a perch population has an ideal perch spot. So we'll talk about a few of those different ideal perch spots that you can find based on the body of water you're fishing. Let's throw that guy in the pail. We're gonna get a pile of these today. I think we're gonna have a good time. I hope this is a perch, because I'll tell you what, I, I saw this guy, he come railing up and I missed him. And oh yeah, that is a perch and that's exactly what I'm talking about when we're talking about some of the bigger ones. That's an old perch. Look at that fish right there, his fins all busted up and he's just a, just a nice perch and a fun perch to catch because he's so strong. I mean, when he hit it, you'd see that rod tip, it was just wham. I mean, he just nailed it. He's just all tuned up. Let's get him unhooked. And then let's talk a little bit about the perfect perch spot because, you know, there's a lot of these types of spots out there. Most Midwestern lakes have spots like what I'm fishing today. That's a great one right there. We'll pitch him in the pail. But here's what's so neat about what I'm sitting on today. I'm sitting on a spot where I've actually got a feeding shelf here. I'm up in eight feet of water and just about 20 yards that way, I mean, it's close, 50, 60 feet right out here, it drops off into 15, 20 feet of water and it just gradually gets deeper all the way out. Now, here's what's so important about this spot right now. Right now, these fish in this early winter period are still roaming from the fall stuff. And when they were roaming in the fall and eating heavily, they were up in this shallow stuff. And right now, that's why they're all still here. Now, a lot of guys are out there fishing deep. You can look out there today and you see other houses out there. And I'll bet you they're catching some fish because what happens is you get that progression out into deeper water, but it's not like one day they just all decide they're leaving and go. Because as long as there's food here like there is right now, this feeding shelf right here with that deep water nearby is ideal for these perch and they'll stick around here and they'll eat as long as that food's here for them to eat and that perch right there and you know all these perch were catching they're all roaming and eating and it's it's funny because i'll sit and i'll go little spurts on the screen where i see nothing for quite a while and then all of a sudden boom there's a big red blob and then there's two or three big red blobs and there's just a pile of them coming in so all we're doing is catching these fish that are roaming around this flat let's get this thing back in the water We're fishing aggressive fish today. We're fishing aggressive baits. We're fishing minnow heads. We're fishing almost like we would walleyes because these fish are so aggressive as they roam around out here. There we go. Man, 
I just love it. When a fish comes up, oh, Hamel. <laughs> that guy, he just hit it so hard that, he, you know, I knew he was there. So, you know, you're sitting there watching him on the graph. But boy, when they hit it that hard, that is, that is just so cool, especially on an ultralight rod, because when he hits it, you don't even have the time to react, you know, like on a stiffer walleye rod, it's bang, bang. This is just, he just doubled it over. I mean, that's just, that's just fun when fish hit that aggressively. There he is, <laughs> got him. <laughs> he just come up and grabbed it. He didn't thump it like some of these fish have, but he just, he just grabbed it. You know what, he's a pretty good one too, if I can get him, get him through there. Look at that. We'll just lift the whole thing right out of there before we take a chance on losing him. Look at that. That's a great perch right there. That is a, another great eater size fish. Tell you what, if there's one thing I'll, I'll say for sure, it is that these perch, day in and day out, no matter where I go fishing, perch like that one, big perch, small perch, it doesn't seem to matter. They all absolutely just love the bait I'm using. And this one's been out a couple of years now. And What's so cool about this perch talker is that it does everything that a perch likes. What I, what I mean by that is it makes noise. You gotta remember that perch are a curious species. So these brass beads and discs, they just click together and that brings fish in from a distance. Now you look at today, here we are sitting on a feeding shelf. We know that these fish wanna come here and eat, so they're roaming all over. So using something that makes a little bit of noise will bring them in because they're such a curious fish. But then here's the other thing that happens there. A lot of times perch will come in and look and you'll see them come up, look at your bait and they'll turn around and shoot right back down. And part of that is because once they're here, all of a sudden that noise can be a little intrusive to them. So you use the noise to get them in, but what the perch talker has is this dropper chain that actually gets the bait away from the noise. And I really believe that that's why this bait is so effective is because the noise is perfect, that little clicking, it brings those fish in, but then as soon as they get there, you can slow it down, you can make it so you're making virtually no noise at all, and the bait's hanging down there on that dropper chain away from that noise a little bit. And it's just, it's just flat out deadly. I, I don't know that I've ever fished something designed for perch that catches perch faster than these perch talkers. There he is. That guy just smacked it. Oh yeah, look at that one. That is a great perch right there. Look at that fish. Man, I'll tell you what, that is so cool when these fish come in like that and just drill it. That one came in and I, I, I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't there long and all of a sudden he was ready to eat. That's another great fish right there. We'll pitch him in. I'll tell you what, you can get out here and do this and it's really not that complicated. You know, look for a couple of the things we talked about, structures like this, structure on that structure, you know, on top of this flat, find some weeds, find proximity to deep water, get out here and fish aggressive baits, knowing that these fish are moving. And I'll tell you what, you can fill a pail of perch up pretty fast. And I'll tell you, the other side of it is, it's just fun fishing because the action is nonstop and you get a whole variety of sizes of fish.